Hi guys! You might notice I look a little bit different. Um, that is because today's video is all about eyebrow like shaping and grooming and this is actually going to be a two-part video in the next video we're gonna go over really like how I fill them in and what products I use <laughs> But for today, we're just going to go over the shaping and grooming. So yeah, let's head over to Eyebrow 101. First, you want to find the right shape. So the line that connects the outer edge of your nose to the inner corner of your eye, that's where your brow should start. Then, again, the line from the outer edge of your nose to the center of your eye, that's where your arch should be or begin. And then lastly, the line that connects the outer edge of your nose to the outer edge of your eye, that's where your eyebrow should end. You also need to consider the shape of your face, whether you're diamond, oval, heart, round, square, or long face shape, it will affect the shape of your brows. Now it's time to groom. I'm just using these Revlon tweezers, those are the shape I prefer to pluck my eyebrows. And then I'm just going to clean up any stray hairs or you know regrowth that I don't want there anymore. Um, sometimes I leave some little stray hairs they don't all grow at the same time and sometimes I have to let some regrow. Um, my eyebrows are pretty crazy and have a mind of their own but we'll get back to that. You can see here they're kind of curly and crazy and not the easiest to manage. They're also very hard and thick in texture. Next, with a spoolie and brow scissors, I'm just going to trim. I like to brush down from the outer edge to the arch and trim downwards. And then from the beginning of the brow to the arch, I'm gonna brush up and trim those and then kind of go over the areas that are already trimmed going upwards as well. This is just the best way for me to create the least holes. I don't know if you can see the difference. So now I'm just doing the same thing on the other eye. Basically what this does is kind of ensure that they'll stay flat once you fill them in and set them with brow gel. Um, so I do have to trim quite a bit just because mine are so thick. Using the Ardell Pro Brow Trim and Shape little razors, I just like to clean up above the brow. Um, just kind of like the baby hairs. I've already plucked the thicker stray hairs. Then you might find new stray hairs, so just make sure you clean up the tweezers. Basically, my brows connect to my hairline, so there's quite a bit of grooming to do. Sometimes I'll still find hairs that stick straight or curl too much that there's no amount of trimming that'll help, so I have to pluck those out and unfortunately that creates more holes, but that is just something that I have to deal with. So that's pretty much what they look like after shaping and grooming, um, and you can see this is why I still fill them in even though they're pretty thick. But It can be a little bit overwhelming to try to figure out what product is best to use for your brows. But there are basically three categories of products. So you can either use a pencil type product, you can use a powder type product. Uh, this is just one that I got in an Ipsy bag from Inspire, but honestly I rarely use powders. But just to show you, and then you have your pomade type product. This is just the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade. So basically the pencil type products will allow you to get a really precise line and then you can do kind of like little hair like strokes on your brows to fill them in which will avoid you kind of making it too painted on looking. Um, this is personally my favorite thing to use. I just think it's kind of a no brainer, you know. Um, it looks really good and there's a bit of a waxy feel to it. So it's not just like using a regular eyeliner, which you can, you can use eyeshadow, you can use eyeliner, you can use whatever you want. A big part of choosing the right product is personal preference, to be honest. But yeah, pencil is really good for like quick and natural eyebrows. It's pretty fail-proof to use. 
Um, for beginners, it's great. For people who have tried everything under the sun, it's still great. I love pencils. Shadow type products will probably be the most natural looking because they're not as pigmented as other products and you'll kind of just feather it in with an angle brush but I honestly don't love it that much because it looks natural in the sense that it's less intense but sometimes I find that it does look powdery. Again, not all powders are created equal and it really depends on what you're working with. Um, for me, I like powders when I kind of like quickly want to go over like slightly sparse areas and it's just quick and easy and you can't overdo it. So I do enjoy it for that. But yeah, powder will be the most natural in the sense of opacity. So yeah, some of you guys might prefer a powder type product. Lastly, very well known pomades. Pomades will be the most pigmented type of product. So it's really good if you have sort of very little to work with, whether they're too thin or too short. <laughs> It is really intense and then you can just kind of paint it on. So pomades without being the most natural, if you have less to work with, I mean putting on powder on your bare skin when you do have some natural hair is like it's not going to look as good. If you're filling in your eyebrows and you have more product than you have actual hairs, I think pomade might be better. It will just also adhere to the skin a little bit better and it's the most pigmented and the most long-lasting one I find. So really there's no right or wrong product to choose. Just consider this small amount of information I've thrown at you. And also another thing that's a bit of a hassle is once you figure out the category that you prefer, which for me is pencils, but even within the pencil realm, they're not all created equally. For example, this is the Kevin O'Quan pencil and this is the Maybelline pencil. I do love both but you can see that the Kevin O'Quan is much slimmer and therefore will be a little bit more precise. So that was just one quick example. Last thing, just in case it wasn't complicated enough, is you need to make sure you pick the right shade. The quote unquote rule is usually if you have dark hair, you want to go a little bit lighter than your natural hair color. And if you have very light hair, you want to go a little bit darker than your natural hair. Um, we're talking maybe like two, three shades at the most, but that's like the general consensus. But at the end of the day, you do what you think looks good for you. Um, you could also blend in with like powder, you know, make Make it work for you, girl. So that's it for this part. Make sure you check out the next video, which is gonna be how I use um, my pencil. And I will just really go through every step and tips to fill in the brows of your dreams. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you soon. Bye.